grew my chest from this to this. And in this video, I'm gonna show you the exact exercises I did to achieve these results. If you wanna develop some monster milkers that pop through your shirt, you came to the right video, so keep watching. Your pec is made up of two heads that take up the upper and lower region of your chest. Now, if you wanna develop a big chest, you need to make sure that you're hitting both of these areas effectively. I currently hit chest twice a week on my push pull leg split, but regardless of what split you're doing, if you throw in these exercises, I'm sure you'll see great results. Now, starting off with exercise number one is going to be the barbell bench press. I typically do three to four sets and I'll stay in the five to 10 and 10 to 12 rep range. Now, since the goal is size and not necessarily strength, you really wanna make sure to control the movement and bring it through the full range of motion to put as much tension on your chest as possible. Now, a great alternative for this that might be even better for chest hypertrophy is the dumbbell bench press, but I recently started doing this, so that's why I threw it in as an alternative. Now, exercise number two is gonna be the incline dumbbell press. So this is one of my favorite because I really feel the burn in my clavicular head or the upper chest. Now, I know a lot of you care about aesthetics, so this is one great exercise to throw in your routine to really help you build up that upper chest. Now I'll do anywhere from two to three sets and I'll stay in the five to 10 and 10 to 15 rep range. I'll set the incline at about 30 degrees and make sure that you're staying nice and controlled and take the movement through the entire range of motion. You can substitute this with the Smith machine or a barbell, but I personally like the dumbbell. Now exercise number three is going to be cable flies. Now this is one of my favorite exercises because you can really feel the tension on your pec the entire time and you can adjust it to hit both the upper and lower regions of your chest. Now I'll typically do anywhere from two to three sets and I'll say in the 10 to 15 and 15 to 20 rep range. When you're doing these, make sure to keep the tension on your pecs throughout the entire movement and avoid putting it on your shoulders. Cause now a great alternative for this are pec flies, but unfortunately the gym I work out at doesn't have one. Now the fourth and final exercise is dips. So these are great at targeting the lower region of your chest. And I typically do two to three sets and I'll stay in the 10 to 15 rep range. I like to lean forward to really put the tension on my chest and I stop just at about 90 degrees. I make sure to stay controlled throughout the entire movement and go through the full range of motion. Now, some tips that I find helpful or useful in building up my chest or my physique in general, train with intensity. Don't just do a bunch of junk volume, really push yourself close to failure or even to failure on some sets. You wanna follow principles of progressive overload, challenging yourself from week to week. So whether you're adding more weight, more sets or more reps, to make sure that each week you're growing. And lastly, make sure that your nutrition and your rest is on point as this will go a long way in building up your chest and your physique in general. And that's it. This is exactly what I've done to build my chest and I hope that you found it valuable. If you did, please like, comment, subscribe as it helps me build the channel. If you're interested in learning how I grow my back, check out this video here and I'll catch you later.